What's up guys, it's Rasim from RosmerTech.com and this is part 4 of our Raspberry Pi 3 cluster supercomputer video series. This is the final video. If you guys have made it this far, pat yourself on the back. We're almost done. Now this video is going to be short, probably 5 or 6 minutes, maybe, maybe 10 minutes. It's going to be short because uh, we're just going to be running some Python programs on our cluster. I'm going to show you guys how to do that and how to get all the, the Pis to participate in the same program and run as a cluster. Now, before we get started, I want to talk about a, f a project that I want to work on. It's a pretty big project, a pretty ambitious project. I mentioned it in the other videos of this series. I want to create a 100 or a 200 pi cluster, but I need you guys' support to create it. The way you can support me is by liking this video and like all the videos in the series. If you guys like this video and all the videos in the series, I'll know you guys are into it, and I will spend the multi-thousands of dollars that it will take to buy all the parts and equipment to get this project going. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first thing we need to do is open up PuTTY, and we're going to log into our Raspberry Pi 1. Before you do that, make sure that your Pi is powered on. It's connected to your switch. The switch is connected to your router. That router is connected to the same PC that you're using right now. Now, type in your Pi 1's IP address. Mine says 192.168.1.166. Hit enter. Now, the login is Pi. And the password is Raspberry. Hit enter. Now we're going to open up a browser and we're going to navigate to this URL www.rossmertech.com. I'm sorry. www.rossmertech.com. Right? And it's Raspberry Pi 3 cluster. This is the page I created for this video series. This page will assist us in all the videos, it has all the code that we need and every every link that you need to get this thing started. Now, we're going to scroll down to the end of the page. Again, the link will be in the description. And this is the sample code or sample Python code we're going to use. And the, our cluster is going to run it. Now, this Python code here is going to find prime numbers. And you give it a range. I give it a range from 1 to 101. You guys can change this range right here. Now, the first thing we need to do is, again, we've got to create this Python uh, file. To do that, we're going to type in nano. Hit space. We're gonna give our file a name. I'm gonna call it test nine. You could, you could call it whatever you want, and then you have to add the dot py. If you don't add the dot py, it won't work. Hit enter. Now we're gonna copy this code here from def. I'm sorry. We're gonna copy this code right here. Make sure you only copy this code and nothing else. Copy it, paste it, and again you could change the range if you want. If you want to change it from one to one million, you could do so. The bigger the range, the longer the program will take. And the, and again, the more the more resources you will use. To save it, you're going to hold down Control, type in 6x, type y, hit enter. Now, now we get to copy this file to all our other Raspberry Pis. And uh, the way we do that is by copying this code here. Copy it. Paste it here. And we're going to change a few things. Make sure that the IP address is your Pi 1's IP address. I'm not going to change it because this is my Pi 1's IP address. And we're going to change our, our Pi, or I'm sorry, our file name here. I, again, we're creating test9.py. So we're going to change this to a 9. And uh, we're going to hit enter. Password is Raspberry. P B E R R Y, hit enter. I think I typed it wrong. So Raspberry, R A S P B E R R Y, hit enter. Okay, now we transferred this file to our Pi 1 in this directory. So now we can do the same thing with uh, the other Pi's. Instead of copy and pasting, just hit the up arrow on your keyboard and it's going to bring back the last code. All we have to do is change change the address here. So we want our Pi 2's IP address. Mine is .73 or .173, sorry. And hit enter. Now we're going to hit the up arrow again and we're going to change the IP address to our Pi 3's IP address. Mine's is .174. Hit enter. Now we're going to hit the up arrow again on our keyboard. Change the IP address to our Pi 4's IP address. Mine's is .175. Yours is going to be different. Hit enter. Now that file is saved in all our Pi's in the same location. Now we can run this script to run the program. So when we copy and paste the script and I hit enter, by the way, before we hit enter, we got to change the name of this file to the dot test8.py. So just delete the 5, type in the 8, and 
I'm going to change this. We're actually going to make this a change this to a one instead of a, a five. And once we hit enter, it's going to run the program and all the pies will run the program. So it's going to act as one uh, supercomputer or one cluster computer. So hit enter. Bam, it printed. It worked. It did it pretty fast. It printed out all the prime numbers from uh, one to, I think, I think 100 or 101. You guys can change the code. And pretty much you guys would do this with any uh, Python code. You can create your own Python code. You, if you guys don't know how to create Python codes, there are tutorials online. And you would follow the same steps I did. And, uh, you, uh, and you would be able to run your Python code on the cluster. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys like this video. But again, uh, I will be working on a uh, am pretty ambitious project again. It's a 100 or 200 pi cluster supercomputer. The way you guys you can support me is by liking this video. If you guys like that video, I know you're interested in it, and I will spend the money to get that project going. Now, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RossmerTech.com, and thank you for watching.